Asian shares and the dollar made a cautious start to the new month today as U.S. lawmakers struggled to hammer out a new stimulus plan and a global surge of new coronavirus cases showed no sign of abating. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan dipped by 0.2%, though that was from a six-month top. Japan's Nikkei, the N225, added 1.1%, courtesy of a pullback in the yen, while South Korea shares eased 0.3%. E-mini futures for the S&P 500 dithered either side of flat. Now, investors were nervous at the lack of a new stimulus package in the United States, with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows not optimistic on reaching agreements soon on a deal. On Friday, Fitch ratings cut the outlook on the United States' AAA rating to negative from stable, citing eroding credit strength and a ballooning deficit. The Credit Rating Agency also said that the future direction of U.S. fiscal policy depends in part on the November elections and the resulting makeup of Congress, cautioning that there is a risk policy gridlock could continue. Now, strong results from tech giants helped the S&P 500 climb 5.5% last month, while the Nasdaq rose 6.8%. Other sectors, however, did not fare nearly as well as many states rode back on the opening of their economies in the face of surging infections. Now, much will depend on what key data shows this week, including the ISM survey of manufacturing later on Monday and the crucial payrolls report on Friday. The dollar was last at 1,178 per euro, with the single currency having gained 4.8% in July to stretch as far as 1.1908. Against a basket of currencies, the dollar stood at 93.399, having touched its lowest since May of 2018 on Friday at 92.538. Oil prices were supported by news that the U.S. oil output cuts in May were the largest on record, even as the outlook for demand suffered amid more coronavirus lockdowns. Brent crude futures dipped 7 cents in early trade to $43.45 a barrel, while U.S. crude eased 8 cents to $40.19. Global crude prices are set for a slow crawl upwards this year as the gradual easing of coronavirus-led restrictions boils demand. Although a second COVID-19 wave could slow the pace of recovery, a Reuters poll has shown. Now, the survey has forecast a benchmark Brent crude average of $41.5 a barrel in 2020, up slightly from the $40.41 consensus in last month's survey and compared with around $42 average for the benchmark this year so far. Now it is expected to average $49.85 in 2021. The 2020 outlook for West Texas Intermediate rose to $37.51 per barrel from June's $36.1. Now the International Energy Agency raised its 2020 demand forecast earlier this month to 92.1 million bar barrels per dollar. Now Brent prices have rebounded sharply since plunging to an over 20 year low in April, helped by production cuts by OPEC and its allies starting in May. Apart from the gradual lifting of lockdowns, prompting the producer group to decide on easing the record supply reductions from August. Now, the world has been reeling under the COVID-19 outbreak for more than eight months now.